tomorrow when Ghana take on Mali. But Bashar Hayford is promising supporters, especially those who were uh, at our Crossport Stadium on Saturday, complaining about the profligacy of the uh, women. She's, he's saying it could get better. Morals were high. They have all realized their minor, minor mistakes that they committed. They were there when we, the second match was played, and they've watched the two openings. We are taking them one after the other. After tomorrow, then we think about the Friday's match. Well, um, we won the match, and I think uh, it is not beyond my, 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 my girls, and they are prepared to battle it out. So, uh, there's no problem at all. I don't see any club. I don't fear any, any nation. I don't fear any national team. Football without fans is no football. That is why Awodome 11 cannot play my 11-11. Because that is symmetry. We want people to come and cheer their team up because we are living. And so the, 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 the cheering and then the, the booing will motivate them very well so that they can play. Yeah, they are a very difficult side. For me because um, if you look at football right now, every country, every team is developing and in women's football, so many teams have developed and looking at the way they played against Cameroon, they have develop, developed um, a lot because we saw them in Cameroon and we saw them in Ivory Coast, they were not like this, they played a good game against Cameroon. So for me they are very tough side but for Ghana it's not a threat because we have a good team and we have a good players and I think that as our coach said, he believes in us, and when we're on the field, we know what we're up to. Looking at the first game, Ghanaians were expecting a lot from us, the supporters that we had. We were so much um, impressed, and we wanted to do something. Tomorrow, we are going to play to the Ghana tune, to the supporters, and also to everybody out there.